Howdy. I'm Bob Terry. And I'm Johnny Terry. And welcome to another free episode of the Roy Rogers Television Show starring Roy Rogers. And Dale Evans. And Trigger. And Butterbell. And Pat Brady. And Nellie Bell. And Bullet. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and it's brought to you here, free on the internet, by Wild West Toys. If you want to shop with Wild West Toys online uh, with their shopping cart site, you can go to www.toyguntown.com. <laughs> Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. about not wanting us to go to Eagle Rock. They knew we were headed there, and they tried to stop us. Roy, Dad's right. The law in Eagle Rock is being watched. You won't talk, huh? Well, maybe you'll be a little more talkative when you're behind bars. Get on your horse. Thank you. 
260S calling 26RO. 260S calling 26RO. Come in, 26RO. 26RO answering 260S. 26RO answering 260S. What do you want, Doc? Them two embers you sent out to follow Myra didn't do so good. Yeah? What happened? Well, Myra went out to Roger's place and talked him into coming back to help her dad. Bradford and Jones tried to stop him. Now Rogers are bringing them both into the sheriff. Okay, I'll handle it. So you did it anyhow, did you? I told you not to do it. I told you the law was being watched. And given time, I'd have... Oh, what's the use? What's done is done. All right, you two, get inside. Into the jail with you. Mark, the prisoners are getting away. Don't go, Roy. I've got to talk to you first. Pat, get the doctor. Dad. This is why I didn't want you to go, Myra. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't know. Listen close, son. I put evidence in envelope. Have Myra get it at post office. Take over, Roy. I appoint you chief deputy. I'll do everything I can, Sam. This is their big day. Things are going to happen. I wish I could have left. Folks, I'll help out until the new sheriff's elected. What's wrong, Roy? Oh, anything I can do? No, I guess not, Doc. Help me get him inside, Pat. Hello, Doc. He's got to be all right now, huh? And they are and they ain't. Alexander got the sheriff, didn't he? Yep, he got him all right, Mr. Hart. But Roy Rogers has taken over in his place. What? Looks like we've hopped from the frying pan into the fire. I guess we might as well make this legal. According to all Myra said, you're going to have a tough time getting deputies. Oh, I don't think so. Pat, raise your right hand. I'm going to swear you in. Okay, all right. Huh? Oh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Roy, I, I don't want to make Nellie Bell a widow. Well, you'll be all right. You too, Dale. Both of you raise your right hand. Do you swear to uphold and enforce the law of this county to the best of your ability? I do. I do. And by the authority vested in me, I appoint you both deputy sheriffs. All I hope is that all the bad men declare holiday till next election. <laughs> Well, I guess we better search the office and see if we can find any evidence against that gang. Mr. Rogers, my name is Ott. Robert Ott. I'm the publisher of the County Gazette. Hi, Mr. Ott. This is Dale Evans, Pat Brady. Here you've taken over for the late sheriff. Yes, sir. Well, I just wanted to let you know. Sounds like we've got more trouble, Pat. Take over, Dale. Well, let's stay with me.
Better, Dale. I got the letter that Dad mailed to himself. Maybe we should open this. Roy's gone, and there might be some evidence in here that he could use. Let's see it, huh? Right. Well, this isn't very clear. It's about Byron White, Ralph Mundy, and Robert Ott. Still, Dad says they're all the same man. Well, we know that Robert Ott is the publisher of the newspaper, but White and Monday are the same men that bought property here when the owners were forced to sell out. I never saw them. <laughs> I don't know of anyone who has. And Robert Ott's using the other two names himself. It sounds to me like a confidence game of some kind. Roy ought to know about it. Let's see if we can find Pat. side of the hill. They're bad hombres. They don't happen to be customers of yours, too, do they? If they are, I thought maybe you might give me a ride down there in your truck. It's about the only way I can get across that flat without being seen. Are you alone? Yeah. You're right, Roy. They are customers of mine. And as you say, they're bad hombres. And customers are no customers. Lawbreakers have... You wait here, Doc. I'll hide trigger behind these rocks. All right. <laughs> Rogers on the trail. He wants me to sneak him down to the cabin in the back of my truck. I figure this would be a good way of delivering him to you practically hand-tied. 
here. I thought you wanted to go down to the cabin. Cut the act, Doc. This shortwave set explains a lot of things, especially how the law's being watched around here. You get around all over the territory, don't you? Why, I, I don't know what you mean, Roy. Yes, you do. And if you want to go on living, you'll talk fast and plenty. Who's behind this? It, it, it's Robert Ott, the newspaper publisher. Uh, a couple of months ago, at uh, an item came in over his newswire. Said the government's going to start a big project near Eagle Rock. So that's it. Ott held back the news. Didn't print it. Then he started fixing things so folks would sell out to him cheap. He figured he'd clean up on the property. I suppose that cabin ahead is the gang's hideout. Just in case you've warned them, take this message and send it to them word for word as I give it. 2260S calling 26RO. 260S calling 26RO. Come in, 260S. Come in. I was wrong about Rogers being alone. He's got a big posse. They're ready to close in on the cabin. Better put your guns away and make believe you're playing cards. <laughs> Did you hear that sneeze, boys? And we disregard what Doc said. A sneeze was a signal we set up in case you ever got in trouble with that thing. Get all that stuff out of sight. I guess I'm catching cold. Maybe you're allergic to lawmen. Get this thing started. over the Shining Door Gold Mine and drop them down the shaft. Got to get rid of those bank records, too.
see Trigger around. You suppose Roy's here? We'll soon find out. Well, don't you people knock before you enter? Where's Roy Rogers? How should I know? Let's stop pretending, Mr. Ott. I saw the evidence Sherry Fuller had. Also, those two names you've been using to buy property with. Fuller was a crook. Now get out. You're trespassing. I don't see any evidence here, Miss Evans. Someone must have given you a wrong tip. We're sorry. Come on. Trigger! That means Roy's been around. It certainly does, or Trigger wouldn't be here looking for him. Well, that ought to convince you. Now what? Trigger's outside. That means Roy Rogers has been here. I tell you, I haven't seen Rogers. CQ. Call it CQ. This is Roy Rogers. I'm in the back of Doc Stevens' traveling store. Oh, you don't... Hold it! Boy, that was a close one. Good shooting, Pat. Will you, can you get these two back to town? Yeah, it's not serious. Come on, Pat. Let's go find Roy. all this stuff out here, are we? No, I will send back for it, Pat, as soon as we get this fellow where he belongs. Hey, Dale, you got here just in time. I thought for a minute I was going to have to ride back in this thing. Take care of him, Pat. Come on, 
We'd be glad to stick around a few more days until after the election if you think it's necessary. Uh, no thanks, Roy. With Nelson and I as deputies, why, we can take care of everything until a new sheriff is elected. I wonder what's keeping Pat. We're all set. Where's Pat? I don't know. He knew he was to meet us here. Hey, Brady, grab the door at your service. I cut your kitty's hair, dehorn your cattle, and throw to your pot. Whatever your ills may be, old Brady will fetch you free. <laughs> Seems as though the business has fallen off. <laughs> trail. And we hope you'll come by and shop with us at www.toyguntown.com.